we will be performing hip flexion pails and rails from the supine base position. So before we set the position up, I just want to talk about the fact that the hip doesn't just flex in one zone, right? So we always think about hip flexion as going straight up, but the hip can actually flex here, 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 right? So it's called a zone of hip flexion. So you want to train in the zone that you're not quite as skilled at. You may be good at, at flexing here, you may not be good at flexing in a more what's called abducted position. So you want to train the zones where you're less skilled so you can kind of bring them all together so you can have better hip flexion in any activity that you do, right? So we're going to train the first one just straight up in the chest and then we'll talk about kind of more out to the armpit, more out to the shoulder, show you kind of different, different positions that you can train hip flexion from depending on what your hips need. So to set the position up, we're just going to lay on your back. I'm going to pull my knee for the first zone straight up into my chest. So I have a couple different ways I can grab it here. I can pull straight up, kind of holding top of the shin, top of the knee. I can grab from the hamstring. Here I can interlock my fingers, kind of wrap them over each other, depending on what works best for you. Or if you're, if you're mobile enough, what you can do is you can hook your arm and then pull from here. This is gonna be easier to create more stability and more tension. So when you do your pails and rails, you don't feel like you need to fight it quite as much as if you're with your fingers. It can be kind of hard to go max effort. But regardless of the position that you set up in, we're gonna hang out here for about two minutes. So the passive stretch, we're just focusing on relaxing. Think about four count in, eight count out. On the exhale, really try to relax. See if you can find some more passive hip flexion. That'll be about a two minute passive stretch component. My pails, I'm building up to 100% effort for the first 10 seconds driving my foot out, right? So I'm driving into the resistance of my hand and I'm gonna hold that max effort for another 10 seconds. From there, my rails contraction, I quickly switch directions, you know, 100% effort. Now I'm trying to actively pull my knee, pull my leg away from the hands, right? So now I'm trying to actively pull my knee up into hip flexion as much as I can, squeezing out a max effort for 15 seconds. I will then relax and then I could hang out here for another 30 seconds while I do, we're before I perform another set, or I can train knee up more towards the armpit, do a set of pails and rails here, or I could come all the way out to here, which I can now hook from there. I could hook arm here, making sure I'm not rolling open, right? So keep the body flat on the floor. If you need to rest your elbow on the ground for stability, take your other hand in the floor here. Again, it would be a 10 second pails driving out, max effort pails, Continue to try to drive out for another 10 seconds. Rails contraction, I'm now actively trying to pull my knee towards that same side shoulder, try to pull away from the hand, 15 seconds, and then relax. So again, you could perform two to three rounds just straight up for this training session. And then the next training session, you could do it from a different zone. Or if you were performing three rounds, you could do one here, one here, one here. It's really dependent on what you need, what your goals, what your abilities are, and what your program calls for. So if you've been hanging out for about two minutes, let's just perform one round of pails and rails. So we'll go straight up here. So let's take a big breath in, full body contraction, start driving that leg out into the resistance of the arm. We're at 10%, 20%, we're building up to 100, 30, 40, 50, the shakes start happening, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 percent effort 10 9 8 7 don't lose any of that room 5 4 3 2 1 now rail try to actively pull that knee to the chest try to pull away from the resistance try to pull away from the support of the arm let's go for another 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and relax, pull that knee higher there. And then again, you can stay here or you could come out just a little bit, think knee to the armpit, or you could come all the way out, knee to that same side shoulder. You rest for 30 seconds, then you repeat 10 second ramp up, 10 second max effort pails, and then a 15 second max effort rails. That is a supine hip flexion pails and rails.